Hi, my name is Erin Shaw. I'm park naturalist with Caesar Creek State Park. I've been spending more time at home these days and Christmas is coming up, so I've been making my own gifts. Today I am carving a spoon and it's actually fun to do. I am in my house. I put a tablecloth down over top of my dining table and I uh, sit right here and, and carve. This is a spoon carving kit and it comes with different blades, a leather strap with sharpening compound. And uh, so I'm just kind of learning as I go here. I thought I'd show you a couple techniques today. And these two are not finished yet. I hope to finish them soon. This is another idea that you could give as a Christmas gift. This is really easy to do. I did not carve these, by the way, but I did, I did wood burn that. So that'll be another video. Today, we are going to carve a spoon. So let me set my camera down and I'll, I'll show you a few techniques. Spoon carving is a very traditional form of art. And so today I'm gonna to be making a love spoon for my mom for Christmas. And I'm gonna show you a few techniques. It's important that you start with a sharp blade. Um, this is a, uh, a leather strop. And I usually start with the, uh, the rougher side. You take sharpening compound, put it on your strop. And I'm not gonna go through the full process here. I'm just, just gonna give you a quick demonstration um, of how to keep your knife sharp. So this is the, the sharp side and I'll lay it flat like this up to the bevel and then draw it all the way out and you all the way out to the tip of the knife to keep it sharp. So if I do it say eight times on this side and then I'll turn it over on this side, lay it flat up to the bevel and then draw it out same number of times. It's hard to do while I'm recording. This takes a little practice too to get that right. And then to get a super polished edge, you turn it over. This is the smooth side of the leather strap. You can put more compound on there. And sharp side of my blade. And a, just one pass, nice and light, up to the bevel. One pass, okay. And I'm just like, just polishing it now. Okay, so. Now that I know my knife is sharp, um, I usually hold the the knife in my in my knuckles like this, and you want to keep your fingers away from the front, and I'll use this thumb to push forward. Okay, so it's pretty easy, it's therapeutic almost, and it pay attention to which direction you're you're cutting I guess because this the wood grain is nice and smooth if I'm going this direction but if I turn turn my spoon around and go this way on the wood grain it like the wood chunks out if that makes sense it's much harder to, to cut that direction so turn it this way and then you'll you'll be able to feel it actually the grain will change throughout your piece of wood so you just have to uh, you know pay, pay attention and I started with a, a wood blank like this and this is your hook knife I'll hold way up on this one again in my knuckles and uh, just make really small 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 cuts nice and slow that and so you'll get that part of the spoon to where you want it and then grab your, your blade okay that's the sharp side I push forward um, it feels like it's chunking I don't know if that's the proper term so I turn it this way and it's nice and smooth There's a lot more to it, but that's a uh, quick overview on on how to carve a spoon. And uh, 
it makes a, a nice gift and something you can do at home. Uh, another video I will show you uh, wood burning and that's something easy that you can do and it, it makes a nice gift, something you can do at home. So thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later. Thank you.